We exalt Thee. We exalt Thee. We exalt Thee. O Lord, we exalt Thee, most holy God. We exalt Thee above every name. We exalt Thee, O Lord. O Lord, we praise you and we thank you and we just expect that you are moving in our midst even right now, Lord. You are moving. This is not an end of worship and transition into some other foreign thing. This is a continuation of the worship of the Spirit of the living God. You are God. There is none other like you, and we worship you. We worship you. We praise you. We thank you, and we expect, Lord, that you will lead, that you will guide, that you will deliver, that you will do everything that you want to do because you you are sovereign God. Father, continue to have your way in this place. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I want to go somewhere tonight, and I want to take you with me. Uh, it's just we, we, need to, we need to continue on this journey of life. We need to, to move on through. And there's been so much stuff going on. It has been a, an intense uh, time. Some, some don't like it at all. Some just want to escape. And, 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 you know, they said, oh, I just can't wait till we get rid of 2020. And then 2021 came along and says, hold my beer. <laughs> yeah, I... <laughs> The, you know, it just, just, this is, this is, it, this is crazy stuff. You know, it's wild. The, the things that we have experienced have been so real, so mind-altering, so spirit-crushing that we have had to deal with so much stuff. And in the midst of this. It's time for us to understand how to process it all. It's time for us to be able to take in the things that are happening to us both corporately and personally and to be able to deal with that, to be able to, to handle that. And I have found something. I can't do this on my own. I, I'm, I just don't have the wherewithal to do that. And, and I thought maybe these folks are thinking the same way. Maybe they need to know how to hear from God. Maybe they need a guide to, to go along. And, I, and I, I started thinking about what my calling is, you know, that I, it's, I, I really encourage you to allow the, the Word of God to speak to you so that He speaks to you in a way on something that's not changeable, that, that you can hang on to, that kind of defines what you do and why you do it. You, you know, every day when you get up in the morning, you, you ought to have something that is a, a plumb line, you know, uh, something that, that is a level that you can understand where you are in a relation. Because some mornings I get up, I'm bent. You know, I mean, I'm just kind of off, you know, and Betty will tell you he's off. Just don't mind him today. He's, he's, he's bent today. You know, when he checks the plumb line, when he checks the level, he'll straighten up because he respects the one who holds that plumb line. He respects the one who's on that level. I want you to go somewhere with me today. I, I, I need you to come with me today because I can't address specifically each and every challenge that I see before me. This has been a year. This, this last 12 months has been a time that has at times shaken me. 
I've buried friends. I've seen friends that tried to bury each other. I, I, I've seen horror in nature, and I've seen awe and amazement. And strangely enough, strangely enough, I've just felt thankful. I've just felt thankful. You know, it's like going for an eye exam. You ever gone to get your eyes exam? You know, it's, it's, it's a really interesting thing. They, they take you into a dark room. They darken everything around. Then they put a reference on a wall. And they have you see life through these lenses. And that's cool. The first one, what do you see? And you go, uh, something, 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 something. <laughs> and, 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 and then they say, good, and they switch. And you say, oh, oh, it's, it's something, something. And they switch again, and they switch again, and, and it comes faster and faster. And pretty soon you're just beat into submission. Whatever you want me to say, I don't care. It's just switching so fast. I don't know. What am I supposed to say? I can't see. I can't tell you. What is it? Just tell me what it is. Just, just tell me what it is. And the, and the things that have been going on in my life is, is just tell me what it is. Just just tell me that, that, that I, the thing that I have seen, I've seen brave people fearful. I've seen fearful people foolish. I've seen strong people weak. I've seen faithful people that weren't. I've seen so much. And after a while, I don't even know how to, to, to say. What, what, do you, what do you say? What do you think? How do you, how do you process it all? And I've always understood what to do for, for a long time. See, the Lord God has given me the tongue of the learned that I should know how to speak a word in season to him that is weary. He wakeneth mine ear to hear as the learned. He wakened it morning by morning to hear as the learned so that I might help those that feel wearied by these times. I don't know about you, but sometimes I feel weary. It's hard to put one foot in front of the other without lashing out in anger. It, it, it's hard to want to do, to want to be. And so today, as we think about where I think we should be going, I want to invite you on a journey with me. Where am I going? Because we have a high priest, one who loves us, who's special, who understands us, who was made just like us, seeing then that we have a great high priest that is passed into the heavens, his name is Jesus. He is the Son of God, let us hold fast our profession. You say you know him. You say that you know who Jesus is. You say you know and you believe in your heart that Jesus Christ is Lord. You speak these things. You say this. Hold fast to that profession. Let's talk about what that means holding fast to that profession. For we have not a high priest which cannot be touched with the feelings of our infirmities. He, he, he felt it all. He, he tasted it all. He, he knows the hurt. He knows what it feels like to have all of this stuff coming at him in so many different ways. He gets us. But he did it 
He did it even as he was tempted like as we are. He did it. He did it without sin. He did it without sin. And so this is where I want you to come with me tonight. With therefore come boldly unto the throne of grace to find mercy and grace in time of need to help. That's where we need to go. I'm going. Now, if I have to go all by myself, I'm going anyway. I'm going to the throne of grace because I need his mercy because I've not always been all that I should be. And I need his grace because there are things that he has for me to do that I need his sovereign empowerment to do. So come with me, will you? It'll be a rewarding experience. Make up in your mind whether you want to go with me now. This is the time. This is the time for us to be filled with the spirit of the living God. I beseech you to be filled with the spirit of the living God this day in this place. And, you know, we've come to immerse. We've come to be dropped down in the midst of the spirit of the living God. Immersed in his presence so that everywhere we look, everywhere we touch, the spirit of God is there. And and I'm telling you, that's good and it's wonderful. But, But don't take it lightly. It's not a game. It's not outward stuff. It's something so much more. So for this journey, we'll use the word of God as our guide. Now, the word of God is quick and powerful. That means it's alive and it's active. The word of God is quick and powerful, sharper than any two-edged sword even to the dividing of soul and spirit. I mean, it can get in there and we can understand because it's clear and and it can take very complex things and move seemingly microscopically or should we say spiritually in such a way that it can pull apart these things that seem to be so bound up that we are confused The word of God is quick and powerful, sharper than any to it, so it even to the dividing of soul and spirit and of joints and marrow. And it's a discerner of the thoughts and intents of the heart. (laughs) He knows when you just thought a thought, and he knows when you meant that thought. You know, sometimes you have those weird thoughts that come in your head. You know that. You you have those weird thoughts and, and... and, and you had no intention of doing anything like that or wanting anything like that, then there's other times those thoughts have come into your heart and you say, hmm, and you need to go repent. You'll get that one day. <laughs> so the word of God um, allows us, that, that that's kind of the way we can do this. And so, I'm encouraging you to worship with me tonight. And as we worship tonight, if God moves on your heart, please don't wait to some artificial end of this thing to come to the altar. Uh, please don't do that. When, when, if you feel God is moving on your heart at any time, you're, you're welcome to come to the altar. There will be people that would be willing to assist you and help you or to leave you alone or whatever it is you need. Just don't, you know, make sure I don't trip over you. But, but, but besides that, you can come anytime, starting now, because it's not me that you need to hear from. 
as much as I enjoy being in this place, as honored as I am by my friend to be allowed to come here, thank you. The reality is it's not about me. It's about him. The Lord of glory. Lord, you are worthy worthy of our glory, worthy of our honor, for thou hast created all things, and for thy pleasure were and are all things created. May we be for your pleasure this night. May we give you pleasure this night. Be pleased, Lord. Be worshiped in this place because you are great. Psalm 116 says, this and, and so so what you're gonna do is 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 now I'm not paying much attention to you anymore because what I'm in, I'm doing is I'm gonna worship the Lord and and he and I are gonna have a conversation and I suggest that you allow yourself in on that conversation that you you have that same thing with him. He he wants to talk to you tonight. He he wants to talk you know you don't have to go out here the way you came in. He wants to talk to you tonight. He he's he's speaking to us and, and I got to thinking, why in the world do I do a thing like this? Why in the world do I even bother? Why why? Why, why is it? Because I love the Lord. I love the Lord. Well, why do you love the Lord? Because he hath heard my voice. We live in a nation and in a time and in a place where so many people just want to feel like they're being heard. So many people are just in need of someone being clearly the kind of people that are hearing them. People feel, feel abandoned and pushed aside and, and misunderstood and people want to be heard. I love the Lord because he hath heard my voice, but not only has he heard all of my groanings and my complaints, he has heard my supplications. He has listened to me as I have had the pleasure of going to him. He has listened. He knows what I am asking. He has heard my voice. I love him because he has inclined his ear unto me. It's like he came and, and he leaned over and you can you can whisper in my ear, it's okay. I, I can hear you. I can hear you. I'm I'm with you. I, I get it. I get it. He has he has inclined his ear unto me. He has not just heard me as a, a corporate groan. He has heard me as an individual, as an individual person. He gets it. As an individual person, he has listened to me. And I will call upon him as long as I live. I will call upon him as long as I live because he hears me. There's somebody that gets me. There's somebody that's listening to me. There's someone who cares about me. He understands the sorrows of death have compassed me. Listen, there's death all around us. Haven't you seen enough death? There's death in the hospitals. and There's death in the capital. There's death in the streets. There's death all over, all around us. We see the death of our dreams. We see the death of the, the things that we so hope. For we see so many things. The sorrows of death have compassed me, and the pains, the hurt, the pains of hell have got hold of me. I mentioned I, I've done a funeral too lately. I uh, grew up with a little girl across the street. And uh, it was, it was, she was younger than I was. And I'm, I'm standing 
doing her funeral. I, the, there, there's a fellow who's a great singer. Great singer. He sang with Patti LaBelle and stuff. We, we just had a talented group of kids in our school when I came up. And, and he, he's just a, a nice guy. And he died suddenly. I, the, I, I, the, the hurt of, of friends being at odds with each other in such, have you, have you noticed how people speak to each other lately? People that have been friends for, in my case, some of them 50 some years, 60 some years, and angry and mad and it's a hellacious situation. We, we see the fabric of our lives being ripped apart. The pains of hell got hold upon me. I found trouble and sorrow everywhere I've looked. Then I called upon the name of the Lord. Then I called upon the name of the Lord. What are you going to do now? Then I called upon the name of the Lord. Oh, Lord, I beseech thee, I beg thee, I'm asking thee, deliver my soul. So many of us, so many of us don't have sense enough to know that we need his deliverance. We need him. We need him to grasp us. We need him to translate us out of darkness into his marvelous light. We need him. We need him every day. We need him in the morning when we get up. If we open our eyes, it's just a blessing from him. If we continue throughout the day, it's a blessing from him. We need him to have a bed to lay down in. We need him. We need him. And he is gracious. Gracious is the Lord. Uh, we, we, we say gracious because I <laughs> am um, an okay kind of person, I think. But I, I haven't enough merit for God to be in my debt. I'm not good enough for him to owe me. If he gives me anything, it's because of his wondrous grace. Do you know he's poured out your wondrous grace? You, you're sitting up here breathing. You, you, you came in here tonight on your own strength. He, he's, he's given you grace. What an amazing God he is. He has supplied grace to you. He has supplied you with the ability. You are fearfully and wonderfully made. Oh, you may have a few pangs that remind you that you're human. You may have a situation in your life that you don't care for. But that very situation shows how precious the goodness is that he provides. Gracious is the Lord and righteous. It's right for him to do what he does, to allow what he does. He is righteous. Yet, and you know what? Our God is merciful. Merciful. Because uh, sometimes I've deserved so much worse. Sometimes I've deserved hurt and pain. Sometimes I've deserved to be wiped off the face of the earth, but he's been good to me. He's been gracious and merciful. The Lord preserves the simple. I'm a living testimony. <laughs> he keeps me. He keeps you. Bible reminds us that we're not to think too highly of ourselves, but to think soberly. 
this, we should get serious about this thing. The fact that he keeps even us. You know you. See, I, I don't have to tell you about you. you. You know you. You've looked in the mirror and you go, oh, what in the world? Why did I do that? He knows you. And he preserved you anyway. But in that process, you've had some difficult times. I, I was brought low, and he helped me. How many times have you been hurting and in pain, and he helped you? How many times has he brought you out of that pit that you seem to be in? How many times has he saved you from yourself? How many times has he intervened? How many times have you been touched? I, it, it, it's an amazing thing because stuff happens and it could have been so much worse. We, we struggle, but it could have been so much worse. So I, I begin to talk to myself and say, return unto thy rest, O thy soul. Some of us are just so, you know, oh, oh, oh hell is I, can't, I can't sleep. And turn over and go to sleep. <laughs> the Lord gives his beloved sleep. Do you believe the word of God? Rest in him. Rest in him. Return unto thy rest, O my soul, for the Lord has dealt bountifully. He's given us so very much. Here we are, and he's given us each other. Isn't it cool that we can be here and worship? We can listen to great musicians. We can hear the word of God. God, we can be in comfort and warmth. We can have so very, very much. He's dealt bountifully with us. Uh, for thou hast delivered my soul from death. I wish I had one of those uh, non-testimony testimonies. Yes, I, 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 I received Christ as a young child, and I, I never, uh, never spoke back to my parents, and, and, and oh, I never, I'm no, no, none of those drugs and, and none of that stuff. I, I was always a sweet little thing. <laughs> yes. And, 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 you know, just, 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 uh, I, I, I came up and, 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 you know, I got a B once, <laughs> but I repented, but I, but I, you know, and, 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 and I, you know, I, sometimes it would be cool to have one of those little non-testimony testimonies about how God kept me from two to now. But that's, that's not my testimony. I was messed up in the hell, drug me through the streets, and I hurt myself and others so that the fact that I can stand before you today and put two words together is just the amazing grace of God. If he can save me, you ain't nothing. You can trust him. He is good. He's delivered my soul from death, mine eyes from tears. I've seen much that made me cry. But I've been able to have him wipe my tears and in the midst of hurt and pain to give me real joy. Mm. 
I will walk before the Lord in the land of the living. I'm going to do it right here. I believed. I, do you believe? I believe. I believed. Therefore have I spoken. I was greatly afflicted. I said in my haste, all men are liars. You ever feel like saying that? Everything you see seems like a lie today. You know? Oh, there'll be blue skies tomorrow. I haven't seen the sky in about three weeks. <laughs> All men are liars, at least weathermen. <laughs> what, 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 shall I, what shall I render unto the Lord for all his benefits toward me? He's blessed me. What, what shall I give him? This is what we'll do. We'll take the cup of salvation. We'll, we'll take this life that he's given us. We'll, we'll take this wonderful life that he's given us and we will call upon the name of the Lord. I will pay my vows unto the Lord now in the presence of all the people. I, I precious in the sight of the Lord is the death of his saints. His, my life is, is real. And, and, and he loves me and he cares for me and he, he keeps me. He's kept, he's kept us, hasn't he? He's kept us when others said we couldn't be kept. Oh, our God is so good. Our God is so good. And I'm getting there, Will. I'm getting there. <laughs> uh, get to do this every century and, and, and he's rushing me. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Let's worship him. He says this. Let's worship him right out of his word. Oh, Lord, truly, I am thy servant. Is that, is that true for you today? Can, can you say that with me? Oh, Lord, truly, I am thy servant. You, you see, I am thy servant and the son of thy handmaid. Thou hast loosed my bonds. You freed me. You set me free. I am set free. I will offer thee the sacrifice of thanksgiving and will call upon the name of the Lord. I will pay my vows. I will tell everybody about you all the time. I will pay my vows unto the Lord now in the presence of his people. I will do what I'm supposed to do in the courts of the Lord's house in the midst of Jerusalem. Jerusalem in the midst of immerse. Won't you worship him tonight? Some, we need to worship him tonight. I love the Lord. He heard my voice and my supplications. Now, bring supplications to him. He's got you. He loves you. He wants you. There's none other like him. There's no one else that we need to answer to. The, the, the reality is, is that we can't let all of this surface complexity, we can't let politics, we can't let nature, we, we can't let the stuff of this life distract us from the King of glory. Look up, look up, look up and see him this night. We worship him because he is worthy. Tonight, reaffirm that he's truly got you. Father, thank you. We come boldly to the throne of grace to find mercy and grace in time of need. I don't know about how others feel, but I, I need you. I want you. I glorify you. I need you. Oh, I need you. Every hour, I need you. Don't throw away your confidence. Cast not away your confidence, which has great recompense of reward, which has great promise of reward. 
for ye have need of patience that having done the will of God, ye might receive.